Never did I ever think that Star Trek V would be something that I go back and rewatch, but here we are. With the reintroduction of Spock's half-brother Cybok to Star Trek Strange New Worlds, I thought now would be a good time to refresh my memory on what is uh, infamously regarded as the worst of the Star Trek movies, Star Trek V The Final Frontier. This was William Shatner's uh, first and only foray into directing a Star Trek film, uh, and from what I remember, it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I... yeah. Time for me to set out and answer a question that feels silly to even ask. And no, I don't mean what does God need with a starship. I mean, is Star Trek V The Final Frontier worth the hate? I'm gonna watch it, and I'll keep you posted. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to stop at the... Uh, three-boobed cat lady erotic dancer because, um... Three-boobed cat lady erotic dancer. I don't have any other thoughts so far. <laughs> Ooh, okay, Kirk, Spock, and McCoy camping out. I dig it. I dig it. Them singing row, row, row your boat together. Captain. Spock, we're on leave. You can, you can call me Jim. Jim. Yes, Spock. Life is not a dream. Go to bed, Spock. <laughs> goofy. It's goofy. No. no. <laughs> so, aside from what does God need with the starship, there was only one other scene that I really remembered from this movie. And 40 minutes in, it happened. In order to distract the guards as Kirk and company approach a hostage situation, they have Uhura sing and sensually dance at night in front of the light of one of the moons, the green moon, <laughs> with large leaves, one large leaf in each hand. She's dancing around and singing, and all of the men on guard duty look, and they go, what's that? Is she naked? And as they're going up, you could hear one of them go, a woman. <laughs> and I haven't even finished watching that segment yet. I just had to pause when I heard a woman as they're going up because how, how? <laughs> it's even dumber than I remembered. I'm so sorry that this was done to you, Michelle Nichols. I'm so sorry. Spock nerve pinched a horse. That's my update. Seconds later, Kirk is attacked by three-breasted cat exotic dancer woman. She jumps on his back and screeches. They go back and forth several times. She continues to screech the whole time. Kirk eventually lifts her up and throws her into the pool table, which is also a pool of water. She lands face down in the pool, and she stops moving. Was she killed by the force of the throw? Is water so poisonous to three-breasted exotic dancer cat women that they die upon contact with it? Unclear. I'll report if any answers come in to this, what, what is possibly the best choreographed fight 
it's cinema cinematic history. We are over halfway through this movie, and we still don't know what Cybok's plan is, or about how he knows Spock. These feel like details that should... Like, we should at least know the bad guy's motive. They're really dancing around it, and nobody's asked Spock. Spock knows the answers, obviously, because Cybok's like, you know I'm right, and why haven't you... Yeah, this is your second chance to join me. And Kirk not once is like, hey, how do you know this guy? Oh, he's... He's my half-brother that uh, my father had out of wedlock. What? What's his goal? Uh, he believes, Captain, that if we go to the center of the universe, we will meet God. What? <laughs> right after Kirk said, I need my pain, my cat came up and bit me, so... What happened? <laughs> How is the crew on the Enterprise able to see this? If they can look through a shuttle and see what's happening on the surface through, like, some camera on the shuttle, how did the crew not realize the shuttle was captured way back on Nimbus 3? How, why isn't, why... I would love some consistent logic in my movie, please. Please. Captain, please. Not from the Klingons. Gay! <laughs> Also, Cybok wrestled God. I, I think the fact that uh, at the very end of this movie, I was rooting for it to end with them singing Row, Row, Row Your Boat one more time says everything that needs to be said. This movie is not good. Was it fun to watch? In the same way that Batman and Robin is fun to watch. Uh, in that it's so bad that you can definitely laugh at things, and there are definitely individual lines throughout the thing that are just like, why did this person say that? Like, why? What? There were so many, like, contradictions in just logic of the movie. Why? It, it was a bad, it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. I actually watching it, I'm like, oh, was uh, Star Trek... Nemesis a worse Star Trek movie because, like, that one was just insulting? Maybe. I don't know. But this movie is bad. Uh, I will very confidently say it is the worst of the original series crew movies. I can see why William Shatner didn't uh, ever get offered to direct another Star Trek movie. Yeah.